Hi everyone, Joe here with a quick news update. First, I hope everyone enjoyed the power leveling during the double XP event over the weekend. I was able to level up 60 times in three days, though I think I could have pushed that further. Now here's the news. The servers are offline, so Bethesda can implement some quality of life changes in the game today, along with a laundry list of bug fixes. Here's an overview of the changes and my thoughts on them. So let's jump in! First is the news that everyone has been waiting for. The stash limit increase from 800 to 1200 pounds. Thanks for enabling my hoarding habits, Bethesda. There are also new tabs in the Pip-Boy inventory. The New tab, Armor tab, and the Food and Drink tab, which will supposedly make it easier for us to rummage around and find things uh, like differentiating between chems and food and drink. The stack weight is also going to be implemented to show the total weight of a stack of items as well as the base weight of the item. That'll help us figure out what exactly is loading us down. We're also getting a map update. Um, we'll be able to see the player vendor preview showing how many one, two, and three star legendary items are for sale and hiding empty categories so you can better decide if you want to visit that camp to do some shopping. In build mode, Bethesda is updating the outline of selected items from green to light blue to help out players with colorblindness. And, along with a long list of other bug fixes, Bethesda is fixing the rewards table for daily ops so that you are guaranteed a rare reward when reaching Elder Tier. Finally, we won't have to worry about getting none as our reward. And... We're also getting a button in the Atomic Shop to hide items we already own, so... yay? Which brings me to my thoughts on this update. The in-game quality of life changes are pretty good. I don't think it's going to take us long to fill up the stash to 1,200 pounds, but there you go. Bethesda is listening to what the players want as improvements in the game. I just wish they could take the time to address the really big bugs that are still in the game, like the respawn bug. And that's it for this video. I said it was going to be quick. Let me know what you think about all of the changes going in, what you think about the stash increase, what you think about all of the uh, bug fixes that are going in, and let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. And, as always, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another Fallout 76 video.